Open the main drain valve for the system. Check that the system has been depressurized. Confirm the system is drained and then close the system main drain valve. All gauges should read zero. If a Series 746 LPA dry accelerator is installed, confirm that the isolation ball valve is closed. Then, open the one quarter turn vent ball valve. Note, when using an accelerator, the system air supply must be fed from a tank style unit and air be regulated by a Series 757 air maintenance trim device. Charge the system with air by turning on the compressor or by opening the fast fill ball valve. Charge the system to a minimum 13 PSI, 89.6 kPa, 0.89 bar. Lift the auto vent sleeve, which should seal and remain in the set up position. Once set, open the slow fill or maintenance air ball valve and close the fast fill valve. Pressurize the diaphragm with water by opening the diaphragm charge line ball valve. Lift the auto drain sleeve. It should seal and remain in the set up position. Confirm by noting steady pressure on the gauge. Once the system is at the correct operating pressure, set the accelerator, if one is installed, by closing the vent ball valve and opening the isolation ball valve located beneath the Series 746 LPA. Slowly open the water supply main control valve until water flows steadily from the open water supply main drain valve. Next, slowly close the water supply drain valve until fully closed. Then, open the water supply control valve to fully open position, indicated by the orange flag in the vertical position. Confirm there are no leaks. If there is a leak, start over at step 1. If there are no leaks, confirm all valves are in the proper position. See 768 manual. Record the system air pressure and water supply pressure and observe pressures for 24 hours for degradation. This video is not a substitute for thorough reading and understanding of the latest public Firelock NXT Dry Valve Series 768 Operating Maintenance and Testing Manual or the installation instructions. For more information, contact Victolic.